So what do you do when you're on the side of the road and you have to change your spare tire and it happens to be underneath your trailer? Let's talk about that in today's video. So I really love these 2,000 pound rated jacks that Hiker provides. They're easy to replace, they're easy to put on and take off. The maintenance is really simple. All you have to do is one little greaser. Every year I put a little shot of grease in there, keep things lubricated so when you're rolling the handle up and down, there's no problem. There's just a couple cotter pins. The cotter pins hold the jack to the side of the trailer and they're easily removable if you need to replace one. Changing your spare tire. Okay, people don't think about this reason, not only for stabilization for your partner moving around, but changing a spare tire, this works wonders. So you're gonna wanna pull over, make sure you're in a safe location, you're far enough off the road. That's one of the steps. Make sure you're on level ground. We're gonna want to, at this point, get out our breaker bar and our socket, check with Hiker Trailer, they're gonna tell you which socket you need for your trailer connect the two, and we're gonna use that to break the lug nuts loose. And if I had a power tool with the correct socket on, I could do it even quicker. But because those are expensive, we're gonna show you how to do it just by hand. You're gonna to wanna to deploy the rear jack and lower that to the ground and start to raise the trailer. In our situation, we have a ground clearance of roughly eight to nine inches underneath from the spare tire to the ground. That means I need to get that trailer up high enough that I can climb underneath there. As you raise the trailer, you're gonna to wanna to put your safety jack in place just to make sure when you crawl under there to get your spare tire down, if there's a failure, I've got a backup safety that I won't get pinned underneath that trailer trying to change that tire. Put your safety jack in place and rise the neck all the way up to the axle to support the weight of the axle Crawl underneath your trailer, take the lug nuts loose, and remove the spare tire. Remove your spare tire from underneath the trailer, remove the blown tire, and replace it with the spare tire. So in order to not lose your lug nuts, make sure you screw them back on or put them someplace in a secure location. This side with the blue Wrangler that was against your trailer is going to be on the inside. The part that was hanging down is going to be on the outside. Your lug nuts are in place, removing the two ton safety jack, lower the trailer back down with your rear jack. You've lowered the jack and now your trailer is back on the ground. The last thing to do is torque the lug nuts. Take out your torque wrench, set it to 95 to 110 pounds, and torque all your lug nuts before moving down the road. There you go, once you hear the click, be your tight. The wheel would not move this much it's just because we're not hooked up to a vehicle. Just make sure you tighten them up in a star pattern and you're good to go. Woo. Okay, click here. Good job, good job. Way to go. So what do you think? Was it hard or not? No, it just takes time. Just takes time, yeah. The twisting and turn, 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 turn. Yep. But you get there eventually. Yep, exactly. Take your blown tire and throw it in your tow vehicle. Find a tire shop someplace where you can switch that tire out and get the spare back mounted up. What you do is see these holes here? Mm -hmm. There's one here, one here. We're gonna lift it up and get the, um, get the lugs through. Once the lugs are through, then you just take this 
and get it started. So once you get it started, up. even like about that far, that'll be enough. So the small side goes up? Yes, the small side goes up. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Okay, you don't want to have a flat because this really sucks. I'm just telling you right now. It is possible, it will work. This definitely helped. This is a standard drill with adapter. That's how quick and easy it is to change a tire on these things. It's really not a big deal. Some of the trailers have the spare tire option in the front. Some of the trailers have the spare option underneath. And some people choose not to buy a spare tire. That's their choice. Some people match the tire to their tow vehicle. That's another option. But we personally, we wanted to travel with a spare tire. We've never really had a major blowout. We're always very cautious about every few years, checking the tires, making sure the tires aren't cracked and they don't have any stress cracks in them. And if you see any kind of stress cracks on a trailer tire, it's time to replace the tires. I don't take chances going down the road on a cross country trip and having a blowout. But if I do, I'm prepared. I have the tools and the knowledge to be able to change the tire. That's very, very important. So at this point, we have the spare tire on the trailer. We've got our blowout tire. We just throw in the back of the truck. And we can get going down the road. The next thing we do is hit the subscribe button and then push that like that you like this video and you appreciate everything we showed you here. We really appreciate it. Thanks for the support, guys. Make sure you guys get out and do some camping. We'll see you on the next video, guys. Have a good day.